What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV. Back at y'all with another one. So, well, well, well. Once again, we're starting the Terrence Crawford ducking conversations. Perception. Right? Now, it's been reported speculated that Terrence Bud Crawford is going to face the likes of Chris Eubanks Jr. in his next fight. Chris Eubanks Jr. is a middleweight. He's the son of a legend, Chris Eubanks Sr. Terrence Crawford is possibly going to move up to 160 and challenge Chris Eubanks Jr. And well, 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 the mass majority of the boxing fans are not happy. And they're labeling Terrence Crawford a duck. Why is Terrence Crawford being labeled a duck? Because they're saying he's ducking Jerron Boots Ennis. Very good fighter, Jerron Boots Ennis. The phenom, as I refer to him as. And so, the fans are saying he's ducking Jerron Boots Ennis. Make the fight with Jerron Boots Ennis. And now suddenly everybody has got insight and everybody's saying that the premier boxing champions, Al Heyman, is offering up Jerron Boots Ennis as a possible opponent for Terrence Bud Crawford and Terrence Crawford is turning it down. Well, I just have one question about that. Is that how could the PBC and Al Heyman be offering Terrence Crawford a fight with Jerron Boots Ennis? When Jerron Boots Ennis is not even signed to the PBC and Al Heyman. He's actually in a legal battle to get out of his contract with the promotional company he's currently in, which is now boxing. And former promoter or manager that he had that recently transitioned, Cameron Duncan. Cameron Duncan's wife has inherited Jerron Boots Ennis and the business. And he's trying to get out of that legal battle with them and suing them for a million dollars. So if he doesn't even have an, a, a, a promotional company, how's the PBC offering up Jerron Ennis as a, an opponent for Terrence Crawford? Neither one of which are signed to the PBC. But more importantly, is when I, re I recall when myself and BOK Prime were looking to make a fight with Terrence Crawford and Jerron Boutinis, the entire world, boxing world, said that Terrence Crawford was ducking because, see, timing. See, when he was willing to fight Jerron Ennis then, you didn't like it and you said, that he was ducking Errol Spence. So now to fight Jerron Boots Ennis, he was ducking Errol Spence. Now he fight, fights and beats Errol Spence, now he's ducking Jerron Ennis. I mean, the entire boxing world flipped on blue and said that, hey, how could you try to do that? You backdooring Errol Spence. How did you make the fight with David Avenesian? It's a backdoor to Errol Spence. When I said that, I don't know if a deal gets done after the David Avenesian fight with Terrence Crawford and Errol Spence because the suits and the business was still preventing Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford from coming together and making a fight. And Errol Spence admitted that when Errol Spence stated that it's time for him and Terrence Crawford to prove the suits wrong because they didn't want to make this fight happen and prove that they can sell and that they are a draw. Prime time to prove them wrong. He admitted that, right? Well, when they were still not trying to do it and Terrence Crawford was saying, okay, well, I might have to go in a different direction. And I said, well, Terrence Crawford and Jerron Boots Ennis and the boxing world said he's ducking Errol Spence to fight Jerron Ennis. Now Terrence Crawford is ducking Jerron Ennis after he beat Errol Spence. 
to fight Chris Eubanks Jr. at 160. Now, again, I don't understand how the PBC is offering Terrence Crawford a fight with Jerron Ennis and he's not even signed to the PBC. I don't even know how, if Jerron Ennis can fight right now under any banner, seeing as though he's in a legal battle with his promotional company. Now, I know that Showtime Showtime president of sports, Steven Espinosa, or should I say former Showtime president of sports, Steven Espinosa, is still advising and helping out the PBC. As the PBC, Showtime got out the business of the sport of Boston after 37 years, and the PBC now has a new partnership deal with Amazon and Amazon Prime. And Jerron Ennis had a network deal with with Cameron Duncan for sh with Showtime, right? So he was not signed to um, the PBC. He never was signed to the PBC. And right now, as it stands, he's trying to get out his legal battle with the PBC, right? So how is the PBC offering Jerron Ennis as an opponent to Terrence Crawford when he... They how? He doesn't have a, a promotional deal. He's not signed to the PBC. Now I highly believe he will sign to the PBC when it's all said and done. But I have no sympathy for the fans crying and complaining now, saying that Terrence Crawford is ducking Jerron Boots in this when Terrence Crawford was going to fight Jerron Ennis or willing to fight Jerron Ennis when the Errol Spence fight looked like it was going under, right? And Steven Espinosa said he didn't have a date to make a fight with Terrence Crawford and, and Jerron Boots Ennis because his vested interest was assuring Al Heyman and the PBC that he could make a fight with Errol Spence or he wouldn't stand in the way of Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford because see then he's standing in the way making a fight Steven Espinosa giving a date and making a fight with Jerron Ennis and Terrence Crawford is Steven Espinosa at that time standing in the way of Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford so now if Terrence Crawford was willing to fight Jerron Boots Ennis right there at that time before he fought Errol Spence because it looked it was looking bleak and gray that he was going to fight Errol Spence because the business didn't want to do it. That how's he ducking him now? And y'all said that he was ducking Errol Spence if he made a fight with Jerron Ennis because he's outpricing himself in negotiations with Errol Spence. He's outpricing himself in the negotiations with Errol Spence purposely to duck Errol Spence, but was willing to fight Jerron Ennis. And all I heard was Jerron Ennis did nothing. He didn't prove anything. He's unproven. He's, how do you know he's that guy? He's overrated. Especially after his fight with Chua Karzin. Everybody said Errol Spence was, uh, uh, everybody said Jerron Boots Ennis was overrated. That was in January. So when there was talks that Terrence Crawford could fight Jerron Boots Ennis, Y'all said that Jerron Ennis was overrated. When I was banging the drum for the fight and banging the drum for Jerron Ennis, as I have, have been all this time, y'all said that I was a Jerron Boots Ennis fanboy and that he was overrated and I was helping Terrence Crawford duck Errol Spence. Now, Terrence Crawford in July fights and beats Errol Spence now you want to go to what you deem the next best thing to beat Terrence Crawford, which is Jerron Ennis. So now you want to throw Jerron Ennis at Terrence Crawford. You're not fans of Jerron Boots Ennis. I am. I've been a supporter and I've been a fan and I've been rocking that drum for Jerron Boots Ennis, banging the drum, bam, 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 for Boots Ennis, the phenom, as I said. I felt that he had all Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford's strength and none of their weaknesses. I've been banging that drum blah, 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 forever. 
and y'all said that I was a Jerron Boots and his fanboy and that he was overrated. And that I was helping Terrence Crawford duck Errol Spence. Now, let me ask you a question. What changed from Jerron Boots Ennis against Chua Karzine? He had one more fight, which is Via. So the performance against Via convinced y'all that he's no longer overrated. And now you want to see him fight Terrence Crawford. Because get this, he could have still, he could have fought Terrence Crawford then and still fought Errol Spence. It would have just been reversed. I have no sympathy for the boss fans out here crying and complaining, saying that Terrence Crawford is ducking and cherry picking with Chris Eubanks Jr. No, sir. Because again, when Steven Espinosa vested interest was Errol Spence fight and y'all vested interest was the Errol Spence fight, as was myself, the biggest fight in boxing to me. But when the business was preventing that fight from coming to fruition and I said, OK, well, the next best thing is Jerron Ennis. Y'all said Jerron Boots Ennis was overrated. He hadn't proved nothing, and he got exposed by Via, by uh, uh, Chua Karzin. Now, all of a sudden, the boxing world is this, the biggest Jerron Boots and his fans to see him fight Terrence Crawford. No, you just feel like he has the best chance to beat Terrence Crawford, and you don't like Terrence Crawford. You're not a fan of Jerron Boots and his. You're just a Terrence Crawford dis, dis, uh, detractor, point blank and period. Again, Steven Espinosa could have made the fight with Jerron Boots Ennis and Terrence Crawford, but he said he had no dates to make that fight. He couldn't see that fight happening in no time in the foreseeable future. As I told you, I was there. I, I know this personally, and I have the proof of it. He said he had no dates to make the fight and uh, no time in he had all his schedule was busy. The schedule for fights was booked up. He didn't see a date and a venue date time that could, this fight could happen anytime soon. Why? Because his plans was always to make the fight where Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford, and he did not want to step on Al Heyman toes. Terrence Crawford was more than willing to take the fight, as I told y'all before. Now y'all crying. I have no sympathy. Because all y'all did was flip on me and say, Blue, trying to help Terrence Crawford duck Errol Spence. Now, all of a sudden, Jerron Ennis has a fight with Via, now, all of a sudden, everybody's on the Jerron Boots Ennis train when I've been banging that drum forever and a day. And y'all told me I was just a Jerron Boots Ennis fanboy that I flipped on Errol Spence and I was helping Terrence Crawford duck. Now, all of a sudden, Jerron Boots Ennis is the boogeyman that y'all want to see fight Terrence Crawford. Ain't that amazing? No sympathy for y'all. And that's all I got for y'all. Look like Terrence Crawford fighting Chris Eubanks Jr. I want to see Jerron Boots Ennis get his opportunity. 1,000%. I want to see Jerron Boots Ennis and Terrence Crawford just like anybody else. Hence the reason why I tried to make the fight happen. Why y'all was crying saying I was helping Terrence Crawford duck. And Terrence Crawford was more than willing to make the fight happen. More than willing to make the fight happen. Now he's ducking, huh? So the one fight with Via forced Terrence Crawford to duck Jerron Boots Ennis, huh? Amazing. That's all I got for y'all. Make sure you hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy, Blue. Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. You haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV. All one word. That's all I got for y'all. I'm gone. Peace.